Renault Omukri reveals the best presidential candidate for the next year presidential election. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. In a tweet that was made by Reno Mokore, who happens to be one of the special assistants to former President Goodluck Abela Jonathan this evening, he revealed the best presidential candidate for the presidential election come 2023. According to what he said, he revealed it that the former vice president of Nigeria, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, is the best presidential candidate. Renan Mokri made it known that Alaji Atiku Abubakar, who is contesting under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, has been prepared to take over as the country president since 1993, which was even before the Fourth Republic. He made it known that it was Atiku that successfully derogated Nigeria's telecom sector and that presently he has employed many people more than many state governors in the country. He said, of all the candidates so far, al Haji Atiku Abubakar is still the best. Not the best Northern candidate, the best, period. He has been prepared since 1993. He has a plan. As VP, he successfully deregulated the telecom sector. He employs more people than many state governments. However, after I said this, many Nigerians reacted to it as they did not agree with on this. Reno Omokri Post read thoughts. Of all the experience so far, Atiku Abubakar is the best. Not the best Northern candidate, but just the best, period. He has been prepared since 1993. He has a plan. As a VP, he successfully deregulated the telecom sector. He employs more people than many state government. Well, um, let, me, let me say this. In, this is his own opinion. This is his own opinion, just like everybody will come out and say their own presidential candidate are the best. But for me, it's a no-no. I disagree with you, sir, on this time around. I keep saying, in a country where, you know, we have refused to look at our past, I mean, we have refused to learn from history, history will keep repeating itself. Elijah Abubakar, at this time, at this point in time, number one, he's a Fulani man. Let's not take over the fact. He's a Hausa Fulani man. And of course, I don't think Nigerians want the same person or the same tribe and region. In fact, for the country's unity, it is very, it's like poison. For you to come out and say you want to vote for a Fulani or Hausa man at this point, it is very, it's like poison. It will poison Nigeria and it will rip Nigeria off the life remaining in its unity. The unity of Nigeria will be at stake. So for equity's sake, that is a no, no, no. Then secondly, when the vice president was actually still during his tenure, I think Basenjo had traveled out on some, you know, official, for some official duties. And when he came back, he noticed that uh, there's one particular company that, I don't know if it is AFCON, I can't really say it right now, that he sold he sold it for how many million naira? Now, we cannot trust such a person. Yes, maybe he made a mistake and look, that mistake is just too costly. It's too costly a mistake. You know, that has been the bone of contention and apart from that, Atiku is actually old. We're looking at a digital way of doing things right now, not the former way of doing things. Not the former way of doing things at all. This will only this this will clearly show that Reno is to remember because he was instrumental to Jonathan's defeat, which affected Reno's job. So I think he's now younger than Tunumbo. Tunumbo that was only a governor of one state is more corrupt than a vice president of the whole Nigeria. Atiku is now from the southeast that has not ruled Nigeria for a day. Afe 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 ni Febi, over to you. Yoruba Reno. <laughs> Okay, like I said, this is just Mr. Reno's opinion. And whatever um, spoils his opinion, no problem. Or rare, there is nothing like Yoruba Reno supporting Tirumbu for president is another sleeve in disguise. You have voted Buhari in 2015, but see where he had landed Nigeria today. In as much as not in support of Atiku, I cannot support Tirumbu either. None of them is fit for the president. Thank you. I'm not supporting any of those two people. That is it. I have not found my candidate in any of them.
Okay, Tunable is not a presidential material. I prefer Prof. Yemi than Tunable. But let me tell you, people, believe it or not, the power is still coming back to the north because APC is still looking for someone to give the ticket to. Because they're thinking if APC offer the above mentions to Tunable or Prof, both of them will still rule for eight years. So they're looking for the former Dr. Bella Jonathan. And they know that Dr. Jonathan is the only person that can rule this country for four years. Let me assure you that anybody from the north part of our great country that picked the ticket in any political party apart from APC, well, you will support such candidate. Believe it or not, the game is between three politicians. Former VP al Haji Gawbaka, Dr. Mohammed, Mohammed of Boucher State, Dr. Waziri Aman, Aminu Tambo, one of the three winners of President come 23 general election. Oh yes, just tell me Nigeria was made for you. No, just tell me Nigeria was made for the North. You see, there are some statements at this point in time that is meant to incite and ignite a flame that is not going to burn well. You know, there's good fire. When you're cold, there's this fire, you need fire that will keep you warm. But when you're actually warm already, before you know it, that fire will start giving you what they call heat. You start feeling heated up, you're feeling hot. Ha! This thing is not too hot, you know, start looking for. Then there is a fire that burns and destroys. You ignite a fire that will destroy what is left of the unity of Nigeria. What is your opinion? Well spoken, but why must he be them all the time? Exactly. Why must he be them all the time? You don't get to say this like, no, 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 it's not possible. Nigeria is not made for one person. This is why some people are saying, you know what? We should just go. That is, what's, that is one of the reasons. So nobody is qualifying your region to be president and article. Later you'll be saying he will not support their own. No problem. Come back home and vote for him now. <laughs> oh, <more. laughs> okay. Reno, on this one, I'm disappointed at you since when you compromise and corrupt by these people, that's never well for this country. That never meant well for this country. No. Reno has just said his own opinion and, you know, everybody has the right to voice their opinion. I've said it time and time again that Reno Omokuru is certainly not well. He does not know what he's doing. He just wants to be relevant and he cannot be. <laughs> okay. Yes, Uncle Reno, you are right and wrong. You are wrong by saying he's the best candidate for the job, but right by saying he has a plan. Yes, plan to squander the little that remains. Too much talk is always filled with fallacy. <laughs> okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come you next time, enjoy the rest of your day.